I did get you. I did. Oh, come on now. I did. I did. We all, we all saw it. Anyway, welcome to episode one of Eli Teaches. The last one wasn't an episode because it was more of a intro... Intro... Duction. Introduction. <laughs> We're learning already. So today's episode is about science. So open your textbooks. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. We're not we're not going to be using textbooks today, but what we are going to be doing is experimenting. Like um uh, Madame Curie, who um, discovered a radiator. Radium. The, the element radium. Yeah. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do three experiments, three quick, easy experiments. And then, uh, yeah, we'll conclude on what we find. So let me just... Lay down what's. <laughs> I am Jack. I am. I am really funny. Oh, okay. So, the first experiment is very, very easy. All you'll need is a balloon and a tap with running water. So yeah, let's get started. Still haven't done the Rubik, Rubik's Cube. It's quite difficult. So, experiment number one. What we're going to do is we're going to take this balloon and we're going to rub it on our hair, or our shirt, and we're going to use it to bend. Now make sure that the water is running as thin as you can get it. Just make sure the balloon is nice and charged up. And then, wow, <laughs> look at that. It's saying hello. It's trying to give the balloon a hug. Oh, isn't that lovely? Charge it up again, one more time. Oh, oh, it gave the balloon a big kiss. Ugh. Oh, well, that was very fun, wasn't it? And easy, and safe. Anyway, the second experiment of today is also very easy and very simple. All you'll need. I feel as if it's laughing at me. All you'll need is a glass of water and a bit of paper and a pen to draw something on it. I only have two hands. So this is experiment number two. Now, what we're going to do is, I've drawn a lovely little picture and I'm going to pin it against the wall and then we're going to watch it change. Now, here we have a lovely little image of... Mm, I, can't, I can't quite make out what that means. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a thing called a water lens, which is essentially... A glass of water. Now you'll see as it goes in that the words are becoming clearer. Oh, what does that say? Isn't that amazing? I sure think so. Well, ha. I'd even go as far as to say that that last experiment 
was even more fun than the one before that. But that's just me. Anyway, we have one final experiment to do before we're finished today. And it's something to do with what you should be doing all the time. Now, I'm not normally a stickler for the rules, but on this occasion, it's very important. And it's to do with washing your hands. So, let's get started. And last but not least, experiment number three, which I call the pepper experiment. Now, what you're going to need for this one is a plate and some water and some pepper. Now, you put the water on the plate and then cover the plate in pepper. And once you've done that, what you do is you test it. So, if you haven't washed your hands in a while, the pepper should stick to your finger. But, if you dab some of this on your finger, and this is washing up liquid for dishes and such, and it's so clean that it should make the pepper run away with utter fear. Now let's just test it. So it's, it's looking, it's sat there looking very scary and, and there's lots of it, but you put your very liquid finger on and there you go. It runs away in terror. And do you know why that is? Because this finger is clean. And all of your hands should be as well. So please wash your hands as much as possible. And that is the end of experiment number three. To conclusions. Oh, what a day it's been. I haven't had this much fun since I found that already scratched out lottery ticket. Anyway, this is the conclusions part of the day where we decide whether this subject is worth it. And I hate to admit it but I think it is science is actually it's actually quite fun you know and quite interesting I cannot believe I've just said that but it's true so yeah I like science and if you disagree put put it in the, the comments below I will get this one day. I, I I will beat this horrible demon. But anyway. Well, that has been this episode of Eli Teaches. And science, you're all right. So please, join me next time when we talk about something else. Shop.